Welcome to Adventures with Angela and Wayne. We were childhood sweethearts and become young parents, but our little chicks have found their wings and flown the nest, so we decided to fly too. So this is me, Angela. I have a big passion for travel, new experiences and setting myself personal challenges. But whilst I do the organising and planning, I always take my best buddy along and my hubby Wayne. So this is Wayne. Luckily enough, Wayne also shares my passion and love for adventure, fun and challenges too. We want to give you tips, advice and reviews on all our travels. So come along with us and we will show you what life is like after raising a family. So we hope you enjoy these adventures with us. Morning everyone. Morning. That's our third sleep done in the Whoppy Resort on Co-Leapy. And we are now... Heading off to Co-Milk. <laughs> co -milk. Looking forward to it. Uh, it's been a nice day in room G4 on the Whoppy Resort. Mm -hmm. um, the bungalow, you saw the images on the other video of the inside. Uh, nice little diddy bungalow. There is a row of them here. We are actually over the back of the site. Um, yeah, it's fairly quiet. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a bit of breakfast now. We've left our big backpacks in the room. Our um, guy is gonna be picking them up shortly on his moped -y car thing. Um, and then, no doubt, we're gonna be going for a harem scarum ride to yeah. the pier. Yeah, they, they, they grab our keys and then pick the backpacks up, the big ones we haven't got to carry them, which is lovely. Um, and they will take them to the pier for us and ourselves. Um, but we're going to have a little bit of breakfast before we go, because obviously that's all included and it opens at half past seven. So we're going to collect the ferry, you've got to be at the pier about quarter past half past eight. Uh, yes, we're going to have a lovely bit of breakfast before we head off. <laughs> Let's go eat. Let's go eat and head <laughs> off to the ferry. First ones in the restaurant <laughs> this morning, <laughs> nice and early. That's a first. Uh, didn't get to see the sunrise. We are on Sunrise Beach as well. Um, should have got up a bit earlier this morning. Uh, perhaps we'll have an opportunity to see the sunrise on Komuk. As I say, it's a lovely morning look. So the sun would have rose up there about an hour ago. And it's now doing its bit way up. And it's beautiful, shining right through into the restaurant. Lovely. Bye bye, Whoppy. Bye, Whoppy. It was raining again last night. A few puddles. Okay, so off the bike, little walk down the alleyway there. Hey man, Thank you very much. he wouldn't take a tip last time, that guy. So no, nah. he took us to our room and he wouldn't take a tip. He's just driven us down. It's only, it's only a 10 minute drive. But he carried our bags right down to the pool here, or the pier. He won't take a tip. Here we are. So as you can see there, very, very easy getting down to the pier. Most accommodation, run you down, organised transport and stuff. Nothing's ever very far away. Um, I believe, yeah, this is exactly the same place that we come in on three days ago now. Uh, very, very small pier. It's just like a little ramp that goes out into the water. I don't know whether one of those boats is ours. I'm not sure. There's a... Uh, small shop up here on the left hand side if you do come down and you need anything urgently to jump onto the boat with 
small shop there, get a bag of crisps and a drink or whatever. They don't tend to, tend to sell um, anything on the speed boats. There's not a lot of room for a bar or anything, that's for sure. I don't know whether it's different on the ferry, because uh, the ferries are not running at the moment. Perhaps the ferries have, uh, yeah, shops and tea and coffee and beers, I, I wouldn't know, but yeah nothing on the speedboat so if you're going to get a speedboat and you've got a fair journey two or three hours or something make sure a couple of bottles of water and uh yeah if you're going to get hungry grab yourself some food so um we're going to jump on shortly so the guys are still loading the boats there's three going out to the different islands we don't know what one we're on at the moment uh, there's a storm brewing in the background over there, so I'm hoping that we can get away before that comes in. Uh, it's just over that way. Nice and black. If we can avoid it, we'd be all good. If not, we're going to get wet. <laughs> on the way on. particular boat we're on this time round is slightly smaller than the, the boat that we're coming on. We've obviously got different sizes for whatever reason. There is a mixture of people on here, some going to Phuket, some going to BB, others going to Home North, obviously where we're going. Um, we're off. Now we're hoping that we can get in front of that storm. Unless we've got it wrong and we're actually sailing into the storm, but goodbye, Cody. some people up at Koh Kradan. Um, you can see on the camera there, the fish in this bay are unbelievable. The jellyfish. I don't know whether they're stingers. If they are, it's a shame, but if they're not stingers, I'd be snorkeling out here. Lovely. Nice little island. I'm not stopping at this one though. Can't do more, can't fit more in. <laughs> We're now off to Koh Mook. Just pulling up to Koh Mook now to grab my bags. <laughs> so 
just been dropped off at this checkpoint. Uh, we're staying at Swale Beach Resort. It looks like it's on the pinnacle of the island. Uh, so like where we was over on Leapy, where the Zodiac Bar uh, was, uh, looks like we're in a similar location, but obviously over on Komo. Um So we're just waiting for another driver, I think. So we've just been dropped off here. Quite rustic in this bit here. I think that's a school over there. We're just past the school. Andrew just chilling on a Angry Birds car. <laughs> don't think you're going far on that one, love. No, I don't think I'll go far on this one. <laughs> so yeah, we're just waiting for another transport probably to take us to where we're staying. Uh, weather's fine now. Beautiful. Looking nice. Looking great. <laughs> so it's currently just before half past 11 in the morning. We had the nine o'clock speedboat from uh, Co Leapy. Probably was about 15 minutes extra, so it took two and a quarter hours on the speedboat. Little motorbike ride there. Um, so yeah, we're here. Just waiting to check in at reception. Uh, it does look a lovely place actually. There's a nice swimming pool here. Uh, yeah, chuffed with this one, that's for sure. So we have a welcome drink, <laughs> as per usual. Always really refreshing. Yeah, I don't know what this one is. Does it? What's it taste like? Oh, really nice. Oh, it's like a raspberry orangey type thing. <laughs> no alcohol. No, no, no. It's always refreshing and cold. It's lovely. Nice treat when you turn up. Mm. All checked in. Completely painless journey, absolutely fantastic. Door to door, uh, two and a half hours. Uh, speedboat was a little bit rough on the first 10, 15 minutes of the journey and then it, it was like a mill pond. Uh, very, very flat. We managed to get a, a seat right up by the driver. So it was really comfortable, we had loads of leg room. Uh, if you are first on them boats, you obviously get to choose where to sit and yeah, we was just lucky we was on there first sat by the driver. So we're now here, uh, guys brought our bags up. Lovely service as per usual. There are cleaners absolutely everywhere. They're in and out, they're all in uniform. They're in and out of the rooms. They're all smiling, all happy. Yeah, yeah, just absolutely to die for. So um, I'm gonna show you in the room now. Andrew is itching to show you the room. It is one of our last accommodations. So we've, we've treated ourselves. It's, it's quite nice actually. Uh, room one, two, one. We're one row back from the beach, so we're not right on the beach. Um, let's tap on the door here to see if I can wake her up. Ah, there she is. Welcome to Kermuk and Sawadika, or Sawadi. <laughs> Shawadawadi. <laughs> Don't know how to pronounce we it. We are in Shawadawadi. Okay, yeah. we've got the aircon on, so we're going to close the door. Angela's going to show us around. What have we got? Right, we'll start this then, shall we? Okay. Uh, standard telly, and I'll repeat myself once more, like on all the other videos. <laughs> we don't ever watch it. <laughs> but look at the elephants on the bed. Look at the donkey towels. Yeah, they've got two beds. Look at flowers, that. which is really cool. But look at that view. Got a lovely view out to the sea. Look at that. The yeah. ladies bless them are still cleaning because we're early. Yeah, so it's only about half past 11. Check-in is at two o'clock and we're super lucky our room's ready. Uh, second row back from the beach. So they're obviously the beach view ones with second row back, but look, there's no compromise really. Uh, we, oh, we've got a lovely view through there, haven't we? Yeah, so we come on round. And you have a door out to here, so the balcony goes all the way around with beds and 
towels and seating areas. Oh, okay. So we have sun lounges out the front there by the looks of things. Yeah. And somewhere to dry your towels. Complimentary fruit. Oh, look there. at this nice seating area. Yeah. Seats. Um, we have wardrobes with robes. Ah. And slippers and we have a safe, but we paid a deposit for the safe. That's so, really nice. Spare pillows, which is always great in case you need to. Yeah, so linen basket, a lot of them come standard and obviously shelving. And this side, oh, here we have a desk come dressing table, which I actually find quite handy to have to yep. put makeup on, which I haven't really used on this holiday. It really is nice. Yeah, it's lovely. Okay. And then this side, more shelving and storage, plus coffee making facilities and water and fridge. Oh, perfect. So, lady said the fruit and the water here is complimentary. There is a mini bar, as you can see, so you will pay for Watch that. And in the fridge, yeah, there's bar. a couple of bits and bobs as well. Um, I'm Would sure you? she said the water was free, but it might be their water. Yeah. So they tend to have their own waters labelled that they give you, which is complimentary, which is probably that one. Um, so if you drunk those, it'll probably be charged. Anyway. Very good. So, should we take you through to the bathroom? So, this is the bathroom. Um, is there a light? Side. Could well be here. There we, go. Oh, we have lights. So, through to one side so you can look at some beautiful shells while sitting on the toilet. <laughs> at the window, wonder who collected all those. Lovely. So, that's your uh, toilet. Yep. Nice clean toilet. This is what I find quite handy when they put extra hooks on. Um, so, not a lot of places do that. That's quite good. So, you've got a sink and a standard hair dryer. I've not brought a hairdryer away with me. I did read that most rooms do have it and every single place we've stayed at has had a hairdryer. So don't put it in your case if you don't need it. All your soap and standard stuff available. Sink and that way is through to the shower. So we have a shower room. Enough for about four people. Yeah. There you go, nice and clean and tidy. Fandy panty tiles on the wall. Mm. Absolutely spot on. So like Angela said, there's been a hairdryer in almost every single accommodation that we've been in. Uh, what there hasn't been and what you will not find very often is an iron. We might have mentioned it previously, but we bring a small travel iron. Um, and, uh, it's a godsend. I mean, it's only other night you go out and you think, you know, I want to iron my stuff. Look a little bit special. It's um, only because we do roll our clothes and a lot of our stuff don't need ironing. But when we come to Thailand before, there seemed to be a big struggle on having an iron in the room. So we thought we'd do without everything else we can possibly do without. No kettle, no hair dryer, no hair straighteners for me. Um, just bring a travel iron. That was my only tip, really. Perfect. So that's the room. I don't think we'll be in here long because we are going to go out we're and go swim. enjoy that. There's two pools on the resort. There are, okay. okay so. there's, there's two pools on the resort, the lady said. There's one at one side of reception. We need to go wandering and have a look around the resort because there's one up near the restaurant. So, although we might check the beach out today, I think I actually want to check the pools out as well. So, yeah, we'll probably do that and have some lunch. We'll show you on the camera. So what do you think of our accommodation? <laughs> you like? Really lovely. Really push. <laughs> no, it's, it's really nice. It's a lovely resort on the on the corner. So if you're ever coming to Kohmook and you want to push the boat out and have something a little bit different, it's really nice. Yeah. On average, I think, I will look the price up, but I think we paid about £70 a night, which is one of our dearest um, ones we've paid on um, the Thailand, islands. yeah, on the islands, it's the dearest one, yeah. and I don't think there was a lot of accommodation to choose from, to be honest. So, no, it's not yeah. a massive place. We no. were just looking at the map, and yeah. it certainly isn't a massive quite place. Quite a small island, yeah, it's quite small. Um, this is our veranda, so the sun's coming around this way. Uh, it's quite sunny here. Again, that's the lookout, show you later along by the beach. 
Uh, we have some laundry, and that is why Angela's all loaded up. There we go, laundry lady. The laundry lady. <laughs> well, not quite laundry delivery. Yeah. Um, we should have done it. We should have done it each. Not each place we stopped, but we done it the first week. We missed the middle week, and now we're doing it into the third week. But we're too busy enjoying ourselves, so we didn't get around to it. I mean, we haven't got loads. So for the first time on any of these islands, I've noticed there's like uh, water towers. They're big plastic tubs of water. Um, I don't know, I don't know whether they're catching rainwater. It doesn't look like it or whether it's delivered to the island. So perhaps there's no fresh water over to this island. Uh, you can see some in the distance over that way. They're the blue ones and you've got some green ones up here. I think this is part of the school. Um, I guess it's their assembly room. It's all open. Ah, there you go, some shots. So we're now just coming out onto, call it the high street, I suppose. It doesn't look overly busy. Some people eating in here. Still a busy restaurant. Hello. Got a map, yeah? It's quiet here. Very, very quiet. Just speaking with Jess, as if I know him, at PK Tours. Um, yeah, nice fella. We just, just took some laundry into his shop uh, and he runs all the tours and everything. He just gave us a map. Um, showed us where the ATM is. And their laundry, we had a lot of laundry. Well, I thought we had a lot. Uh, it comes about six pound, six, seven pound our laundry. But we did have a few little bags. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's six. 4.4 kilos, four and a half kilos. Four and a half kilos. So we'll have some clean clothes. Um, yeah, so Jess at PK Tours was saying uh, there's 60, restaurants 60 60 restaurants apparently in on these local streets on Co Mook however currently there is four open really four? not four oh four <laughs> um so he, he said mixture it's low season and uh, a bit of covid as well some of these places are probably shut down um so yeah it, it's it's not it has got a lovely feel we don't like it overly busy anyway very very small amount of traffic as you can see coming up and down this road uh suits us at the minute yeah what do we that's do? for sure do we go left or right i think it's this way yeah okay and then turn left so we're just coming out to the beach On the ATM back there, so I reckon it's a bit further up here where all these boats are, yeah. and you can tell here where it's not being looked after at the moment. It's just debris falling down from the trees, uh, and it just goes to show how much work they do on these other beaches where you take it for granted it's just sand. Uh, if you've got overhanging trees and stuff, it needs looking after. So they're constantly, obviously, picking all this debris up to keep it nice for us guys. So we're just heading into this area where all the boats are. Um, we haven't got a clue, really, where we're going, but... Uh, it's busier. <laughs> looks like the kids have been playing here. Still haven't found the ATM. <laughs> we've stopped in the local bakery and restaurant. doesn't look much and we thought oh, I might just have to have a croissant or something and grab a drink out of the fridge so the lady said do you want to look at the menu we did there's about 40 pages in the menu everything I don't know how they do it but there's everything <laughs> anyway we've ordered tuna salad each and it has got a pineapple 
smoothie. <laughs> I've got a strawberry smoothie or a yogurt smoothie or something coming. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll add all that food on the menu. I wouldn't know. Never judge a book. When we've had this, I'll let you know when I found the ATM. <laughs> if we don't, we're not even getting the clothes back that we just put in the laundry. <laughs> I think we finally found the ATM. <laughs> if it says out of service, you're not going to see us on the camera when I put it on next time, there'll be nothing of us because we won't have eaten. <laughs> All we've got is breakfast, <laughs> we can't get any money. It could be working. Yay! Right, let's try. Yay! Please Where? take your card. You won! Thank you. We have money! <laughs> Deliveries are coming in now. <laughs> I think they must have local village games. See how much they can get on a on a moped with a sidecar. <laughs> and we've seen one of them collapse on a different <laughs> island. <laughs> oh dear, oh lord, so funny. So, yeah, we officially have some money. So, uh, A, we won't starve, and B, Angela doesn't need to go home naked. Yeah, because I want to get me clothes from the laundry. <laughs> she can get her clothes from the laundry now tomorrow. <laughs> very good news. So, it's very sunny. It's nice and warm. Uh, we're going to head back to the resort and check out the swimming oh, pools. So, I need to cool off now. Um, just been given some good tips to go round to a place called Charlie's Beach. Or Penang. Uh, or Penang, is it Penang? Uh, Pronang, Pronang? Pronang or something. Are we going the right way? Yeah, it's uh, Jessie's oh, place up here. Oh, look at that puppy. <laughs> look, oh. two of them. Oh. Um, yeah, I think we're going the right way. So yeah, we're going to cool off on the, in the pool, chill out a bit. Uh, done a bit of travelling today, obviously. Um, uh, tomorrow, beach. See you, Jess. Got money. Thank ha you. Happy. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's get back to the pool. So, um, like I was saying earlier on on the video, the water towers. Um, holding the water. I don't know whether this one's got an issue. Oh, let's have and get past it. It's fresh water, look. So this is the pool opposite reception, just over here. It's a lovely little pool. Some sunbeds. The bar area here don't look like they're using this one at the minute. Perhaps it's because it's low season. Look at these frangy panties here, look. We've got Bougainvillea up there. Look at these frangy panties. Seriously. Gorgeous. Lovely little pool, that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. We will be checking it out, but we're actually going to go and check the other one out today near the restaurant. Yeah. Which we haven't been over that way yet. So just walking through the grounds, immaculately kept, as per usual. And what we need to do is work out whether the pinnacle will get the sunrise or the sunset. We can always sit down the beach and either see the sunrise or the sunset. Oh, find out later. So we're on a thin bit now, so you can see the sea through there and you can see the sea on the other side as well. So we are towards the end of the pinnacle and the other pool is apparently just through here. Oh, look, bikes. So we have got bike hire here. It's yeah. pretty cool. Ah, there it is. So we have another awesome swimming pool. 
we have tennis or badminton for the energetic sand's hot so that angle there is towards the, obviously the main island that's the fat bit the piers just over there in the distance and round this corner here which i'll get on video later is the pinnacle of the island just had a swim just cooled <laughs> off beautiful nice chill off in there it's a nice shady spot just over there so this is the second pole now i'm gonna try and get some filming out on that pinnacle uh i've got some clouds coming through there been such a nice day but you've got like yeah big uh, gaggle of clouds coming over so anyways uh, just going around the corner here I don't know what this bit is here uh, oh it's a little shop so you've got some uh, speed boats and long tail boats here uh, these are obviously the private ones Ah, there's the restaurant, so I guess this is where we have breakfast. I think we'll we'll go in here for dinner tonight. It's not too far. And it looks really, really nice. So like we're on the pinnacle now. So this is the edge of the island. There's the clouds coming through there. Push them away. So they're saying there's some strong underwater currents. Uh, they're showing you where they are there. So a bit of a shame, but nature is nature. So they're more or less saying, do not swim out this bit here because uh, of the undercurrents. So there we go. The pinnacle where the restaurant is. Now it looks like obviously the sun's up there, uh, it looks like it's going to set uh, on the other side of the island there, I believe that's Charlie's. Uh, but that means one thing, if it sets over there, it looks like the sun rises over in that direction. Now, the sun comes up either over or between these mountain ranges or islands here. Uh, that's gonna be stunning. bride out for dinner <laughs> where are we eating this evening young lady we're eating in the restaurants the hotel restaurant on the corner on the pinnacle and look at the carpet mm. thank you that's not carpet that's sand yeah, so we're right out on the pinnacle here at the end. I showed you on the video earlier on. It's a little bit dark at the moment. So we're going to have a look at the menus. We had the choice to eat indoors just over there or outdoors. You can eat indoors anytime. <laughs> It's very, very nice. Uh, it's about seven o'clock. They serve food till about nine, maybe 10 latest, the lady was saying earlier on. Uh, there are 10 covers, 10 families, 10 sort of sets of people eating at the minute. Um, they've got enough room here for about 60 or 70. So um, yeah, nowhere near full up, very relaxed. 
Uh, mojito, thank you. And you got Comox special. Yes, Comox special. Ah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Comox special. Now what's in there? Brandy, orange juice. Oh, uh -oh. she'll sleep well tonight. Awesome. A bit of a nightcap. That's a nice little seating area actually. Um, we can see out to sea. It's dark, obviously, you can't see too much. A little bit breezy tonight. Uh, still 33 degrees. It don't, it don't seem, to, it don't matter what happens, it can rain, windy, sun, it's 33 degrees. Mm -hmm.